Hello, this is Steve Spector, your Dell Cloud Evangelist. And um, today we actually have in the office, instead of a Skype call, we have uh, CloudSoft here. And Alex is with us. Alex, could you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Sure. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, I'm Alex Henneveld, CTO with CloudSoft. Um, oh, great. And um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself in terms of your background beyond uh, just being CTO of CloudSoft? Sure. Um, worked for a number of years in autonomic computing um, since doing a PhD at Edinburgh. Um, expertise is on managing large enterprise applications, complex applications. Um, and the cloud, of course, has proven quite interesting for us. But uh, our things we've learned from autonomic management through the years and data centers and kind of multi-data center has you know, lended itself well to managing applications in the cloud. Having elastic resources on demand lets us do quite interesting things in terms of real-time scale out, even optimizing wide area placement. Okay, and so you're with uh, CloudSoft Corporation, and I know it, it says bringing business to the cloud is your tagline. Can you tell us a little bit about CloudSoft, its history, um, you know, how old it is, um, some of that kind of information, where it's located? I believe you're in Edinburgh. Or sure. if, if I said yeah. it incorrectly, I apologize for the Scottish yeah. out there. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about the company. HQ is in Scotland, in Edinburgh, okay. um, and about half the developers are there. The other half are spread to the four corners of the earth as um, we're primarily an open source company. Uh -huh. um, the main product is, is an open source Apache license project called Brooklyn, brooklyncentral.github.com or brooklyn.io. Um, and the, the emphasis in Brooklyn is helping you manage applications. So you can kind of s describe the deployment. Uh, we've heard about infrastructure as code. This is infrastructure and applications as code but really looking at their management. What are the, the policies I attach? What are the groups I care about, clusters and fabrics? So if you know how to create one instance, um, whether that's using an image or a puppet, um, we can give you a scalable cluster of those and then attach rules so that the load balancer gets updated, listening to a bunch of sensors coming out of your favorite monitoring tool or, or, or mechanism. Um, and the components in the Brooklyn Library are designed to to make it easy originally for us to do this, but um, now for, for anyone who needs to manage applications. So is this kind of an extension of DevOps to another level? Is that a way to look at this? Yeah, I sometimes jokingly call it app DevOps. Okay. Um, because it's, it's taking what DevOps does for servers and, and deployment, we're trying to, to bring the same agility to applications. Um, so literally as, as part of your, your live tests, you can deploy an application to 25 servers in the cloud and run some live tests and then tear it down immediately. So in terms of clouds, do you support a variety of clouds, a specific cloud? Is it, is it optional? Um, Multi-cloud is essential in yeah. this day and age, whether it's, it's, it's hybrid or just security that you can switch from one to the other. So um, we support all the major cloud systems for private cloud, OpenStack, CloudStack, vCloud, mm -hmm. um, and the major cloud providers. And we work closely with another open source project called JClouds in order to make that happen. So if I was you know, interested in learning more stuff, of course, I'd go to cloudsoftcorp.com or go out to, you said, brooklyn.io, I believe, it's, which is an Apache licensed product. That's right. Um, brooklyn.io has all the code, the examples to get started with Brooklyn. Um, at the CloudSoft Corp page, you'll find a link to the, the Brooklyn community, of course, but you'll also find the, the commercially supported version of the product, which we call AMP, Application so, Management Platform. Now, do you, do you resell AMP? Is that sold through a channel, or how do, how do I get my hands on that? Um, it's directly through us. Okay. Um, and it, it's um, mainly a support contract. The, the code base is identical to the open source, but of yeah. course, um, many of our enterprise customers want the support. They, they can't use it without someone they can call a throat they can choke and so we does your that. company as well i know that working in open source a lot of times um, enterprise customers will be looking for certain features that aren't there yet in the open source and they and it's a good place they come to you and say we're looking for these features and whether you do them or farm it out it, it, you offer that kind of um, assistance to help drive their product yeah that's one of the the strengths and that kind of already in there are a lot of the the feature requests and the lessons learned more importantly from dealing with real world situations. And whether that's kind of getting JMX MP to work over SSL going through firewalls um, or setting up a, a certificate authority so we can sign the, the certs that get put onto every server and make sure that it's a different server if we're running a um, multi-tenanted user applications. Um, we have to make sure the server certificates are different. 
Um, so all of that was commissioned by various clients um, who, because it's going to be better maintained as part of the open source project, have given it back quite, quite um, graciously. Well, great. Well, thanks for taking the time. I know usually five minutes is our limit and I try to keep these things and I appreciate it. And for those of you listening, I think some of you will, will probably go, boy, that was technical. And, <laughs> and, uh, and so that's good. Once in a while to go more technical, please go out to uh, cloudsoftcorp.com and I'll have the links as well um, up on the blog site. Thanks again. Thank you, Stephen.